Hi, Gary Bunnell here. Uh, today, today's video is a little different. It, it's in response to a couple of people asking one very specific question. And that question is, um, how do I really begin my journey, my spiritual unfolding, my, my expansion of awareness into soul consciousness? Well, that journey, you know, is, is basically about letting go of the need to be right. Now, oftentimes, this, people come to this state of giving up the need to be right after years of, of spiritual practice like yoga or qigong or tai chi or meditation, TM to zen, uh, usually there's a sudden awareness that I no longer have a need to be right even about uh, this spiritual journey. As a matter of fact, the enlightened people I've talked to uh, and I went around finding them, uh, spent a lot of time, said to me, all of them said, just before enlightenment, you, you forget you even were aspiring to be enlightened, that the process has brought you, your desire has brought you there, and when you become enlightened, you forget that that was really the goal, the aim. Now, the need to be right is, is really, uh, really in our cellular matter. And what happens is when we're born, uh, the body at, at birth releases an enormous amount of, of DMT uh, as we're, we're coming down the birth canal. And that sets into motion the collaboration of, of human spirit and eternal soul. And that collaboration really begins to take shape from the first moment. The belly brain, the heart brain, the cranial brain all begin to uh, collaborate uh, fully. What happens as we start to crawl and then we toddle and then we walk and, and we're then told that we're wrong and we need to be right. Don't do it that way, do it this way. When you're coloring in your coloring book, the tree is brown at the bottom and green at the top, not purple and pink. But what's happening, our baby brain is enlightened. Our training takes that away. And the training is built upon a growing need to be right. However, the need to be right takes a kind of weird turn because the way we're trained is that's wrong, this is right, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, do it right or you'll be punished. You know, we, we please, we get extra dessert when we do it right, we get sent to the room and do it wrong. Well, of course, that's the way it was, was when I was a kid. But the need to be right becomes really cellular within us. And, and basically, the need to be right is about longevity, survival, um, being able to, to, to be in a group of friends, you know, doing things right by their determination of what's right. Uh, a, partial, a portion of society, socioeconomic levels, each one has their own series of what is right. Um, what happens is we take on a need to be right about how wrong we are. And that really is what closes down this incredible baby mind that's connected to everything and, and is seeing everything as it actually is. And we really don't get the opportunity to expand spirit awareness into soul consciousness until we've given up the need to be right. And, and that's judgment. Discernment, um, that's a, a slightly different 
aspect of our consciousness, being able to, to discern things, to, to navigate through the complexity of, of life as human. Physical structures, sensations, emotions. Discernment is real important. Um, and unfortunately, judgment takes over and we have our biases and our prejudices and these amazing likes and dislikes that, that then have us playing bumper cars through life with, with life. Giving up the need to be right allows us to no longer have that underlying aspect of needing to be right about how wrong we were, how we didn't do things right, we had to be corrected. It also allows us to give up that incredible urge to please others. Uh, being moral and being decent has nothing to do with pleasing others. It, we are trained to please others, so that keeps us locked in this struggle of, of as we get older, feeling this, the greater sense of being, but getting locked back into the struggle of needing to be right. Even if that needing to be right is needing to be right about how wrong we are. We are all, and again, I'm not the first to say this, we are all spiritual beings having a human experience. We're not human beings trying to be spiritual. We get trained out of our enlightened baby brain. The DMT that's released and, and begins the collaboration of spirit and, and soul, uh, that's, really, that's really our mind. And the fact that, that we were trained out of that, um, that's, that's a problem. The legacy training of humanity, it's a problem. Giving up the need to be right works for individuals, works for groups, works for companies. I mean, innovation cannot happen unless a, a group or a person has given up the need to be right about something and then innovates beyond that. And to me, this is one of the primary secrets of, of really leading this, this deep experience of life is giving up the need to be right. Sorry about that. Right at the end of the, the video. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for uh, taking the time to listen and, um, you know, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.